What's up guys welcome to our channel eTechnies. In this video we will talk about how to fix the error failed to connect to the Rockstar Games library service. In this video we will talk about all the step you require to fix this problem so stay tuned and watch the complete video. Before going further, if you are new to this channel, then click on subscribe button, select all on the bell notification, give a thumbs up if you like this video and leave your feedback in the comment section. Step 1. Administrator Account First of all, you have to check you are in your administrator account or not because sometime when you are not in your administrator account and you perform all the troubleshooting step, that time all those troubleshooting steps do not take place. So it's really important for you to check you are in your administrator account or not. For to check your account type, click on windows icon, click on settings. Here click on accounts. As you can see the status of this account is administrator. If you are not in administrator account then you'll see standard in here. Once you are sure you are in admin account, then we'll move to the step 2, run services. For to run services. Click on Windows icon, type here Service, click on Open. Once you'll have the services window, click any of the service running in here and type R on your keyboard. Once you'll type R on your keyboard, you'll see all the services running with the name of R and you can see the Rockstar Game Library service. Once you'll select the service, do a right click, click on Properties, here any startup type as you can see it's showing me disable click on it and select manual and click apply all right as you can see it is start working after applying the services click on start as you can see the services status showing me running after this click on ok and that's all you have to do to run the services of rockstar game library service close this one and now try to launch the rockstar game launcher as you can see it's showing me connect to Rockstar Game Services. Now we have the screen. If you are not getting this thing, then you have to make sure you'll check the Visual Studio C++. Whenever you install this game, I hope you have seen that this game usually install Visual Studio C++ in our PC. So if you're getting some kind of error, VLC runtime 140.dll error on your PC, then you have to make sure the Visual Studio is installed on your PC. If it's showing you some kind of error, that means you have to download the Visual Studio C++. And that's our step 3. Download Visual Studio C++. Open the browser. As you can see, I'm in tageadvice.com in the safe search provided by Google Safe Search. So if you are looking for the safe search and do not want any malicious website to list in your search results, then you can come to this page by typing tageadvice.com slash safe dash search in the address bar and you'll be on this page or either you can type the name of the website tezadvise.com on the footer of the page you'll see safe search listed in here so you can click in the safe search and you'll be on this page here you have to type download visual studio c++ after typing click on search as you can see the listings in here you have to click on the latest supported Visual C++ downloads. Once you'll be on this page, as you can see Visual Studio 2015, 2017 and 2019, you'll see the information in here x86, x64, ARM64. You have to select one from these two and you have to check your bit version for to make sure you are downloading the right application. For to check your bit version, click on windows icon click on settings here click on system now on the left side you'll see about click on it as you can see the information in here the system type it says 64 bit operating systems x64 base processor if you have the 32 bit operating system then you'll see 32 bit operating system x86 based operator so if you'll see that that means you have to download this one x86.exe file as I have the x64 based operating system I'll download this one 
Once it done, open the application, click on I agree and click on install. As you can see, it says user account control. You have to click on yes. It set up successfully. After this, click on close and try to launch this application. If none of the step work, then you can reinstall this application by uninstalling this from your PC. For to uninstall the application from your PC, press the Windows icon and R on your keyboard and type appvis.cpl. After typing the command, click on OK. As you can see, the Rockstar Game Launcher, select the application and click on uninstall and click yes to uninstall this application. Uninstall both of the application Rockstar Game Launcher and Rockstar Game Social Club. After uninstalling, come to the tageadvice.com safe search option and type in here download Rockstar Game Launcher and click on this search option. You'll see the listing in here download the Rockstar Game Launcher Rockstar Games. Click on it. Here as you can see download the Rockstar Games Launcher. Click here download for Windows. Again click on download for Windows and it is start downloading on your PC. After downloading open the application. Click on yes and install the application. That's all you have to do to download the Rockstar Game Launcher. After downloading run the Rockstar Game Launcher it will surely comes up. So that's all for today. I hope our step will help you to fix the problem. If we helped you to fix the problem, then do not forget to leave the feedback in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.